So what I've been doing the last few days is um, building like a raised bed slash compost pile out of these old doors that I used um, for the chickens um, to have shade earlier. Since we didn't need them for that anymore, I thought I could use them for a compost pile, a huge one. Um, I mowed all that grass over there and uh, I've been carrying it in my cart uh, over here. I'll have a total of, uh, I think, 18 piles of grass because I just stand over there. I pick a spot and I just go in a circle and rake it into piles in the middle like that. And they're just, it's just perfect. Uh, it fills up my cart all the way. Um, so I've still got to rake up all that. It's been out here for a few days. Um, this is breaking down really nicely. It's got a mix of grass clippings and uh, compost and uh, rabbit manure. But it's just time consuming. I just load up my cart, bring it over here, put it in the compost pile. I've been watering it um, as I go instead of like, it's kind of, I was going to do it like the Eden beds, but I decided that it would take freaking forever. So I just piled up all this grass. I'm going to fill it all the way up with grass and then I'm going to get my compost from my other compost pile and start layering once I get it up all the way up to here, right at where it is now. But I've got it about half full and uh, I put this toward the house because I thought it would be fun to watch it break down um, over winter. But I've been moving this row over to the last row um, now that the sweet potatoes are finished um, and I've been planting radishes and lettuce and stuff radishes and the peppers waited till the cucumbers were done to pop up and start doing something so I didn't have to do anything there but I've got one broccoli plant and some lettuce and uh, but the peppers are really doing great. Um, the birds come and they burrow a hole and take the seeds. So I have to pick them when they're still kind of small. But again, I haven't weeded. Um, I've, I've, as I move that row over here, I weed it and then I add it, the new stuff. And then once that's done, if I still have time in the year, the okra, uh, I'll move it over here as well. But at the, by the time everything out here is brown, I'll have had this entire area moved into my new compost pile to sit over winter. So I don't have to mess with the weeds. Um, I read in my Bible um, that one year's weeding, or one year seeding causes seven years of weeding. So me letting that go like that, I actually did myself a major disservice. So I'm going to have to start over next year. And uh, I'm going to really layer it down with cardboard and paper and whatever I can find. Um, that landscape fabric was a disaster. It was a terrible idea. Um, but I'm just r slowly ripping it up. I'm going to mow this down to the ground once it's all done again. Um, and then I'll have this baking through the winter and getting ready for next spring. So for next spring so far, the only thing that I have started is the place where I'm going to plant my peas and beans. Um, and it's, I mean, it's breaking down fast. This was very, um, thick. So, uh, I'm probably going to end up mowing either the blackberry part of the field or 
that unused triangle over there, it's just nothing but weeds. So if I mow it, it's just going to be riddled with weeds. But I'm also going to, this bed, I got it started, and then the weeds took it over. And as I was mowing, I would throw clumps of grass on top of the weeds, but they just... Everything grows so well here, and it's a blessing and a curse. But I'm just going to take all this up and put it in my compost pile. Everything's going in there. Um, all winter long. Um, and of course I changed my mind on a dime, so I may um, build something more like this before spring gets here. Um, but I watered my orchard like all day long yesterday. Um, I need to weed eat this, but I've really kind of been neglecting it since um, the Japanese beetles are gone. I come out and I weed like right around the plants. Um, they just take over so fast. Here's some strawberries. And I mean, I just... Weeding. I would never have anything to do. I would never be able to do anything fun if I had to weed. But that's my favorite chicken's gravestone. Um, nothing's disturbed it and I'll keep it clean around that rock um, for two reasons because one I don't want to run over it with the mower and two I want my favorite chicken to have a nice place by the orchard but it's really kind of hot um, the humidity makes everything really difficult. Um, in Oklahoma I got so used to that dry air and I could work outside all day and just be fine. Um, but here it's like it is just invades your lungs and just makes it hard to breathe and do anything. But I'm getting her done. I'm trying to take my time and as it cools off I will be getting more active again. Um, my book uh, doesn't really have any chores for me uh, in the middle of summer and so I've really just been kind of maintaining the animals and um, thinking of ideas to get ready for next year since we started so late this year. But next year I'm going to have to spend a lot more time weeding. Um, either that or prevent them from even popping up. But eventually this entire area is going to be a giant thick mess of of garden um, eventually all the way to the fence from that garden there where the sun starts full day sun eventually i really need some wood chips